name is Dr. Sophia Yunus. My title is Director General for Federal Directorate of Immunization. And this is the lead of National Immunization Program. The barrier has been removed, the gender barrier has been removed. To be able to be here as a woman and to be able to meet with the frontline female health workers, to say two simple words to them, thank you. Thank you. From on behalf of the PEI program, I thank you. Frontline workers, amazing team. Uh, my name is Zainul Abidin Khan. I'm here working as a national team leader for WHO polio program. Today we're going to talk about the gender strategy and the importance of this to the polio program. Um, Dr. Sophia, let me start with you first. You've been in the immunization world for a number of years. Is this changing the way that we're able to approach polio? We found that uh, females were reluctant to be vaccinated by uh, uh, male vaccinators. In every strategy we make and in every activity that we conduct, we ensure that females are part of it. We are enlisting people for promotion, recruiting through headhunting. The immunization program, it started in 1974. And since then, the national immunization head was never a female. But my presence uh, speaks it all. Dr. Zain, as one of our partners, uh, what, what does it mean from WHO's perspective? Uh, as uh, we follow the GPI strategy and uh, WHO policy, uh, to always empower the women leadership. So I have the opportunity as a team leader of WHO, uh, I have a huge team here, and I have the opportunity to actually exercise this policy. So you're showcasing leadership um, at the organizational level. We now see leadership coming up from the grassroots. And what do you think the role of female frontline health workers means to our eradication efforts? As we are heading towards eradication, there are still communities that require female frontline workers. We are trying to get more of them because most of the female workers, when they are going into the community, they need to be secure. So recruiting couples so that the wife and husband or brother and sister, they go together. So for such conservative societies where we struggle, uh, both in terms of female uh, vaccinators or uh, the social mobilizers. Dr. Zane, this is about changing culture, isn't it? And certainly culture in this nation. Um, it's not easy, but are we taking enough steps so far? Yes, uh, you rightly said it's not easy. And uh, this culture of this country is not easy to change overnight. But this polio program gave us some opportunities. And in this culture, the men are not allowed to go inside houses. So this is giving us opportunity to introduce female more in the team. The, uh, the EPI, the expanded vaccination program, and a gender balance is going to benefit from this because there's so many other immunizations that we need to be able to reach. How do you see that affecting what your work is, what's happening in your work? We recruited a number of vaccinators and we have asked the province to please let us know if you need additional workforce. UNICEF provided us uh, with an opportunity to recruit 250 vaccinators and out of that, all, almost all uh, were for female vaccination. Last thing I want to focus on right now is certainly part of the partnership, but what, what role do you see Rotary playing in the eventual victory uh, as we cross the finish line in eradicating this disease? So uh, first of all, uh, you know, Rotary is part of Immunization uh, Technical Advisory Group, which is called it NICC. Uh, Dr. Aziz Mehman is a part of that. Uh, the level of advocacy and the level of uh, penetration into the top government leadership that uh, Rotary uh, brings in every community level and the, the positive energy they bring in to international and polio. So Dr. Zen. Um, I've been working for polio since year 2000 and I worked in several countries including India, Nigeria. Personally, I believe that we are trying to fulfill the dream of Rotarians to see this world with, without polio. The support of Rotarians, not only here, everywhere I saw, is more than a partnership. It's uh, generous and uh, they never say no. Thank you both for your time and thank you for your leadership and everything that you bring to uh, this effort. It is uh, immensely appreciated and my sincere gratitude to you both. Thank you and thank you for uh, your time and uh, we really appreciate Rotary International's contribution to polio eradication initiative of Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you.